Francis Take Report. Want to buy something? These days, you don't need cash, you don't even need a credit card. With GeoPayments, all you need is your smart device and a Wi-Fi connection. A homegrown solution called Gust Pay will allow subscribers to pay for goods at selected stores simply by connecting through Wi-Fi. Let's see how it works. Are the days of traditional banking numbered? Increasingly, we're seeing the demise of in-branch banking in favor of online transactions. And it's widely mooted that this little device will soon be all you need to have a good time and pay for it. So if banking does go totally mobile, who will be the vanguard of this new cashless society? Recently, FNB officially launched a geo payment service through its mobile app, allowing users within a 500 meter radius of each other to make a payment without the need to touch the mobile device against the pay point. The bank has also launched a social banking app integrated into Facebook that allows users to view statements and make payments. More recently, Stellenbosch startup GustPay has developed a standalone geofenced payment system for smartphones. Gust runs on iPhones, Android, and Blackberry for the mobile phone user. The merchant side runs on an iPad. Let's find out how it works. So uh, the service works when a user installs uh, one of our apps on their smartphone. They then have the ability to transfer some money into their mobile wallet, either using a uh, standard EFT or using, using a credit card. Um, after that, they can go to a merchant location. Um, on a Wi-Fi network, which usually is in the merchant location, uh, the two, two devices, the merchant side and the user side, can discover each other. Uh, the merchant can then request a payment, which shows up on the user's smartphone. Uh, the user can check that and transfer the money across. All right, Joe, so I came in, ordered a coffee. How do I pay for it on your system? OK. I'll take you through the quick, uh, quick steps there. Uh, so I'm going to be the merchant, you'll be the user. On your smartphone, you, uh, you launch the GasPay application. You'll see that it detects the Mill House as a payment location. Just tap on that. Uh, when you tap on that, uh, it will join. I can see your photo on this side and your name. And I can select an item from the stock database loaded on this iPad. I'm going to charge you for an Americano. I press this to request the payment on your side. It'll pop up. Uh, you have the option to tip me. So give me a 10% tip there. 10 cool. And as soon as you slide that slider across, the transaction will be completed. We chose to uh, incubate and, and develop this product in Stellenbosch. Um, it's a nice young town, lots of young people with smartphones, uh, which is our target market. But we chose to make it a closed beta group for now. Uh, we definitely have plans to roll it out to the rest of South Africa, probably starting with Cape Town. Um, but for now, we're happy to just refine the product uh, over here. The world of mobile payment is becoming quite crowded, with services popping up at every turn. Square Clone Checkout, launched earlier this year, claims to be tailored for the African market, but offers payments on iOS and Android devices. Still in development, Ching is another local startup that will allow users to pay by simply entering their telephone number and PIN once they've downloaded and registered with the app. Mobile payment advances such as these are huge advances for society, moving more and more towards being truly cashless. Merchants, as a result, will become less of a target for criminals, as there'll be little or no cash on the premises. Big business and merchants will need to aggressively prepare for the early adopters of this new technology, as they'll be demanding it the second it becomes slightly more commercially available to the mass market.